Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then, one cold winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and sent the elderly woman away. However, she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. When he again dismissed her, her ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell over the entire castle and all lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside the castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. If he could learn to love another and earn her love in return before the last petal fell, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? It's my favorite. 
So I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle. Look there, he goes. Isn't he dreamy? Monsieur Gaston. Oh, he's so cute. Be still, my heart. I'm hardly breathing. He's such a tall, dark, strong, and handsome brute. Your day. Come on. Please let me through. starts to think, and then she gets ideas. Oh, Gaston, you're positively primeval. Why, thank you, Belle. Would you like to go back to the tavern with me and see my... <laughs> What's your father up to now? Is that one of his crazy inventions? <laughs> Don't you talk about my father that way? Don't talk about her father that way. I'll go, I'll go. Oh, go. Oh, Papa! Papa, hello? <coughs> oh, there you are, Papa. I, I heard an explosion. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. But that's more than I can say for this confounded contraption. <laughs> Ooh, I'll never get this hunk of junk to work. Oh, Papa, you always say that. Have a little faith in yourself. It'll work. And you'll get first prize at that inventor's fair. I will. Okay, I will. Well, I better get to work on this thing if I'm going to get it finished on time. Uh, Belle, could you give me a hand here? Sure, Papa. Uh, Belle? Mm -hmm. Help, please! Oh, I'm sorry! Yeah. <laughs> I see you got another book in town today. Oh, yes. I had a lovely morning. But Gaston was there. And he said it's not normal for me to be reading. Well... He's a handsome fellow, though, isn't he? Oh, he's handsome, all right. And rude and conceited and... Oh, Papa, he's not for me. Papa! Papa, do you think I'm... odd? My daughter odd? Where did you get an idea like that? I don't know, it's just that, well... People talk. They talk about me, too. 
Well, I'm not odd nor you, no family ever saner, except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say or do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. They are the common herd, and you can take my word. You are unique, creme de la creme. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you, and that's a lot, no matter Just exaggerate That every daughter's great You are And every daughter tends to say Her father's toughs She pulls out all the stops To praise him that you remain exactly as you are. This really is a case of father knowing best. And daughter too.
first prize is nearly mine It's quite my best invention So simple yet complex So massive yet so small This triumph of design Will be my old age pension That is provided I can find the fair at all I must have missed a sign I should have paid attention That's not a nightingale and not a mating call. Is anyone there? Can someone hear me? Hello? Listen, somebody's in the castle. Nonsense. Why would anyone be here? Please, I was lost in the woods. I need a place to stay. Hello? See? Hear that? It's a human. Oh dear, oh dear. It is a human. Well, I hope they don't mind me staying the night. Sure is dark in here. Hey, hey, I can fix that. No, no, Lumiere, not one. Hello! Turn them off! Who are you? Why, monsieur, I am Lumiere, and this is my friend Cogsworth. We are at your service. No, we're not. Lumiere, if you not keep your mouth shut... Ow! There was no need for that. Cogsworth, have a heart. Oh, splendid. A talking candlestick. You must be dreaming. Yes, that's it. It's a dream. But you must leave before it turns into a nightmare. Now, Cogsworth, that's no way to treat our guest. Who's oh, splendid? You know, the master will be... <laughs> Stop that! This is just amazing. How is this accomplished? A clock that talks, now that's an invention. Excuse me? Just what do you think you're doing? Stop that! Do you mind? Very sorry. Ah, uh, don't mind him. You may stay. <laughs> Now you look very cold and tired. Why don't you come and have a seat and rest a while? Oh, I think... Oh, no! Not the master's chair! Are you sure it's all right for me to stay here? Oh, Absolutely not! Absolutely not! Out of the question! This has gone too far! Of course it's okay that you stay here. Just relax. Oh, why, hello there. Well, it is so nice to have a real man in the castle. Oh, it has been so long. And just what do you call me? Well, I call you irresponsible, waxy head, drippy and smoky with- Stop all this arguing. We have a guest. Can I get you a cup of tea, love? Tea? You're offering him tea? Take it back, please. Why, thank you. <laughs> His mustache tickles, Mama. Who let this stranger in a castle? 
Sire, let me just say, I was against this from the start. I wanted nothing to do with it. But somebody... Well, Master, let me explain. Now silence! So you've come to stare at the beast, have you? No, no I... I was lost in the woods. I needed a place to stay. Please, I meant no harm. Uh, a place to stay? I'll give you a place to stay. Uh, Excellent uh, idea, Your Highness. To the uh, dungeon. Well, LeFou, 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 what? Come here. I've got all the wedding arrangements made. I think the time has come to propose to the lucky girl. Go for it, Gaston. She'd be a fool to say no. Oh, don't worry, ladies. Just because you can't marry me doesn't mean you won't be seeing this beautiful face around town. Well, here I go. You know, girls, I'm still single and there's plenty of me to go around. Oh. <laughs> Belle, you in there? There's uh, something I need to ask you. Yes, hello, Gaston. What is it now? Well, gorgeous, as you've probably noticed, I've got my eye on you. So and I can tell you've got your eye on me. What are you talking about? You've been dreaming just one dream Nearly all your life Hoping, scheming just one theme Will you be a wife? Will you be some he-man's property? Good news that he man's me. This equation, girl plus man, doesn't help just you. On occasion, women can have their uses too, mainly to extend the family tree. Pumpkin, extend. Sons galore. Inconceivable. Each built six foot four. Unbelievable. Each one stuffed with every guest on G. I'm not hearing You'll this. be keeping the house with pride. Just incredible. Each day gratified. So incredible. That you are part of this idyllic scene. <gasps> Picture this a rustic hunting lodge. My latest kill, roasting over the fire. My little wife, massaging my feet. While the little ones play on the floor with the dogs. Or we'll have six or seven. Dogs? No, pal. Strapping boys like me. Oh, imagine that. <gasps> I can see that we will share all that love implies. We shall be. to face with destiny all roads lead to the
the best things in life are all's well that ends with me. Escape me, there's no way certain as Dore Bell when you marry. So, Bell, what's it gonna be? Is it yes? Or is it. Oh, yes! Um, I, uh. I just don't deserve you! Who does? But thanks for asking. Here comes a bride! Here comes
You couldn't just sit on the shelf like a normal candlestick, could you? No, we had to serve him tea, give him a blanket, let him sit in the master's chair. I was just being hospitable. Cogsworth, do you hear something? I hear nothing. You're ticking. But well, why would I be ticking? Well, all clocks tick. But I'm not really a clock. Oh, but you are until the spell is broken. None of us will be human again until the spell is broken. I'm just glad nothing's happening to me. Oh, uh, why, Lumiere, what have you done differently with your hair? It's the latest style. You like it? No, but it is, uh, waxy. Oh, no, not me, too. Oh, I'm afraid we're losing more and more of our humanity each day. Come now, Chip. We don't want to disappoint the master. Mama, Mama, there's a girl in the castle. Now, Chip, that's not to joke about. But, Mama, look. Chip, let's keep going. Look, it's a girl. I know it's a girl. Don't you see? She's the girl we've all been waiting for. She's come to break the spell. Papa? Papa, hello? Papa, you must be here. Belle? Is that you? Oh, oh, Papa. Your hands, they're like ice. We have to get you out of here. No, Belle. You must go now. Hurry. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? I, I've come for my father. Who's there? I am the master of this castle, and he is my prisoner. Now get out. But can't you see he's sick? He trespassed, and he is my prisoner. Now get out. No! I won't go. Take me instead. What? You would do that for him? If I did, would you promise to let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here forever. Step into the light. No, Belle, I'm old. I've lived my life. Please go. You have my word. Good then. Take him to the village. No, Belle. Oh, no. Oh, Papa. Master. Since the girl is going to be with us for quite some time, how about you offer her a more comfortable room? <sighs> or maybe not. You didn't even let me say goodbye! I'll, I'll never get to see him again! And you didn't even let me say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. But I thought that I... You don't want to stay in that dungeon, do you? No. <sighs> Follow me. Say something to her. Say something to her. I hope you like it here. The castle is your home now, so you may go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden! <sighs> dinner. Invite her to dinner. I expect you for dinner, and that's not a request. <sighs>
Cheer up, child. It'll turn out all right in the end. You'll see. I hope that we'll be friends. We don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then them. It's you. More than I can bear. More. 
fear? What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Who you? Never. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. All who every guy here like to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Who everyone's awed and inspired by you. And it's not very hard to see why. No one's slick as Gaston. No one's quick as Gaston. No one's neck as incredibly thick as Gaston. But there's no man in town half as manly. Perfect up your paragon. Oh, you can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley. And they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. No one's got a swell cleft in his chin like Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. In a wrestling match, nobody bites like Gaston. Notice no one is really a grunny. As you see, I've got biceps to spare. Not a bit of him scraggly or scrawny. That's right, and every last inch of me's covered with hair. <laughs> In a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expectorating. Tweet! Ten points for Gaston! When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And now that I've grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of a barge.
We must hurry. Calm down, old man. Now who's got her? A beast. <laughs> A hideous, monstrous beast. Huge. Hideously ugly. Yes, yes. Will you help me? Oh, thank you. We'll help you, all right. What? What are you... Dangerous pastime. I know, but that wacky old boot is no spider, and insanity is only so so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to hell, and right now I'm evolving a plan. If I. Yes? Then we. No, would she guess? Now I get it! Let's go! <laughs> Plans to persecute harmless crackpots like Gaston! As down to the depths we descend, I won't even be mildly remorseful. Just as long as you get what you want in the end. And dark days like Gaston. And this is a sweet phrase like Gaston. And his marriage will soon will be celebrating. My, what a guy. Gaston. so long. Why isn't she here to dine with me? <sighs> Poor girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day, Master. Master, have you thought that perhaps this may be the girl to break the spell? Well, of course I've thought of that. I'm not a fool. Perfect. You fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, we're human again before midnight. Oh, if only it were that easy, Lumiere. These things take time. We don't have much time. The rose petals have already started falling. Who am I trying to fool? Look at me. Why would she ever love me? Help her see past all this. I've never met anyone like her before, though. She's so... So... <sighs> Let's see. We could make you a little more presentable. Stand up. Straight. Don't slouch. Be proud. Try to act like a gentleman. Ah, yes. Try to charm her off her feet with a dashing, debonair smile. 
like this. You try. Oh, don't frighten the poor girl. <clears throat> Impress her with your wit. But be gentle. Compliment. But be sincere. But above all, you, you must, must control, control your temper. <clears throat> Remember, try to act like a gentleman. Well, I can see you're busy, so I'll be running along. Cogsworth! Where is she? Well, you see, she's, um, not coming. What? Your temper, Master, your temper. Remember, be gentle. I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. Come down to dinner now. Master, your temper... Well, perhaps your way is better. You will come down to dinner if I have to drag you down. She's being so difficult. Just a thought, Master. But this may not be the best way to win the girl's affection. What am I supposed to do? Beg? Try to mm. act like a gentleman. Be gentle. Mm. Ask her gently. Mm. Belle. Mm. Would you give me the pleasure of joining me for dinner? No. Hmm? Charm her. <sighs> Bell. <sighs> it would give me great pleasure if you would join me for dinner. Please? No, thank you. <sighs> Fine! If she doesn't eat with me, then she doesn't eat ever! But, but Master! <sighs> oh my, that didn't go very well at all. Lumiere, since this whole thing is your fault, you will stand guard outside the girl's room and report all activity to me. Why, you overwhelmed TikTok! Well, I sure hope that waxhead can keep his eye on the door. Come along, let's clean up the kitchen. Really, honey, the master's not that bad once you get to know him. Oh, I don't want to get to know him. Oh, just give him a chance. Did he give my father a chance? You want me to get on my hands and knees and beg? Show me the girl. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision. And then that which was gone and left me in this state An object of revulsion and derision Hated Is there no one Who can show me How to win the world's forgiveness
She has emerged! Oh, uh, excuse me, I... I was wondering, uh, could I have something to eat? Absolutely, Shelly! Absolutely not! Out of the question! No, no, no! Now, Cogsworth, that's no way to treat our guest! All right, give us some crust of bread and water and then back to a room. Now, Cogsworth, we must make her feel welcome! She is not our prisoner, she is our guest. Well, keep it quiet. You know if the master would find out? Of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little music? Music? Mon chéri, Benoze, it is with deepest pride and our greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents... Your dinner. Be our guest. Be your guest. Put our service to the test. Tie a napkin around your neck, Shari, and we provide the rest. Soup du jour, hot odors. Why, we only live to serve. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, miss, this is France. And the dinner here is never second best. Go on, unfold your menu. Take a glass and then you'll be your guest. We your guest, be your guest. Be very good, she souffle, pie and pudding en flambe. We'll prepare and serve a flair, a culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared, but the banquets are prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flat wears it entertaining. I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks, and, and it's all in perfect taste that you can bear. Go on and lift your glass, you want your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's fine dining we suggest. Be your guest, be your guest.
who's not serving, who's not home, without a soul to wait upon. Ah, those good old days when we were useful. Some those good old days are gone. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting. Needing exercise, a chance to use our skills. And those days we just lie around as you pass Flappy, fat, and lazy, you walked in and oopsie daisy. Now, as you can see, the student facade was stripped away to reveal a minimalist Rococo design. 
It is an example of the neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> now, may I direct your attention to the flying buttresses above? Mademoiselle. <sighs> What's that up there? Oh, that's just the West Wing. Did I say West Wing? I meant boring. It's just plain dusty and boring. So that's the West Wing. Nice going, TikTok brain. Mademoiselle, would you like to see our tapestries? We have lovely tapestries. Oh, not right now. What's he hiding up there? Hiding? The master's hiding nothing. Then it wouldn't be forbidden. Mademoiselle, would you like to see our gardens? They're beautiful. Maybe later. Perhaps you would prefer the library. A library? You you have a library? Yes, indeed. With books, stacks of books, hills of books, mountains of books, more books than anyone could ever read. Every subject. Books about hunting, fishing. Books about picking up girls. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you could have done? I oh, warned you! Stop! Get out! Oh, I meant no harm! Get out! I can't stay! No promise or no promise! I can't stay here another minute! But you must! What have I done? Oh, 
alone. I don't care what it takes, I'll find that castle and somehow I'll get Belle out of there. I'm coming, Belle! That hurts! Well, if you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much. Well, you shouldn't have run away! Well, if you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. Well, you should learn to control your temper. <clears throat> now, hold still. This might sting a little. <clears throat> By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Let me help you out of that wet cloak. I've never met anyone like her before. I want to do something for her. But what? Well, there's the usual things. Flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep. No, 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 no. It has to be something very special. Something that... Sparks her interest. I've got it. Perfect. Compliment her. Go on, compliment her. Your dress. It's... It's... Blue. sweet and almost kind but he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined and now he's deep and so unsure I wonder why I didn't see it there before when she glanced this way I thought I saw but when we touch he didn't shudder at my paw no, this can't be, I'll just ignore But yet she's never looked at me that way before Belle, I have something to show you But you must close your eyes It's a surprise May I open them? All right, all right Right now! Oh my! Uh, I've never seen so many books in my whole life! You like it? It's wonderful. It's yours! Oh my, well you don't know what you're missing. Oh, 
Oh, I would love to read this again. No, wait. You read it first. No, that's all right. No, really, you read it. No, that's okay. No, you. No. I can't. You. You never learned to read? Only a little bit long ago. Oh. Well, it just so happens that this is the perfect book to read aloud. Come here. Sit by me. Well, who'd have thought? Well, who'd have known? And who'd have guessed they'd come together on their own? It's so peculiar. Just wait and see. A few days more. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Perhaps there's something there that wasn't there before. What? There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? Shh, I'll tell you when you're older. Come along, let's give them some privacy. Mama? Yes, Chip? Will I ever get to be a boy again? I hope so. When will I know? Soon, if it's to be. It'll be very soon now. Come along, son. Knowing not that this was indeed the legendary sword Excalibur, Arthur tried to pull it from the stone. He tried once, but to no avail. He tried a second time, but still he could not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword. So that must mean he's king! Hey, wait and see! I never knew books could do that. Do what? Take me away from this place. Make me forget for a little while. Forget? Who I am. What I am. We have something in common, you know. What's that? In the town where I come from, the people think that I'm... odd. You? So I know how it feels to be different. And I know how lonely that can be. For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose from the people a great shout. Arthur is king. Told you so. And gleaming with charm I'll be courting again Chic and sporting again Which should cause several husbands alarm I'll hop down off this shelf And to sweet me myself I can't wait to be human again When I'm human again Only human again When I'm knickknacks and whatnots no more Little push, little shove They could whoosh, fall in love I sure you want it all be top drawer I'll wear lipstick and rouge And I won't be so huge But I'll easily fit through that door I'll exude savoir faire I'll wear gowns, I'll have hair It's my prayer to be human again When I'm human again Only human again When the world once more starts making sense I'll unwind for change. Really? That'd be strange. Can I help it if I'm t t t 
hands In a shack by the sea I'll sit back sipping tea Let my early retirement commence Far from fools made of wax I'll get down to brass tacks and relax I'm human again Let's let some light in the room I can feel, I can tell someone might break the spell any day now Shine up the brass on the door Alert the dust pale and room If it all goes as planned, our time may be at hand any day now Open the shutters Sweep up the years of sadness and tears and throw them away. When Guinevere heard that Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent, and no one could ever make her smile again. The end. What a beautiful story. Oh, I knew you would like it. I'd like to ask you for something. What's it? A second chance. Would you have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? Me? You? Tonight? That would be. I mean. Oh, yes! When we're human again, only human again. When the girl finally sets us all free. Cheeks are blooming again, we're assuming again. We'll resume our long lost one and free. We'll be playing. It's like this. I've got my heart set on marrying Belle. <laughs> Turn them down flat! <laughs> oh, okay. Now we all know that Maurice is a lunatic. Why, he was just in here last night, raving about some beast. Oh, Maurice is My point is, Belle would do anything to keep him from getting locked up. Yeah, even marry him. <laughs> She just needs a little persuasion. So, you want me to put Belle's father into the asylum until she agrees to marry you? Oh, that's despicable. 
Then the time has come for a murky plan For which he turns to a murky man Find that feet were better than At the Maison de You'll be strapping up an inmate Very tightly Very soon but we won't bring him in late. Your check-in time's noon. Prepare a five-star padded cell and book him in for a long, long spell at the Maison de Do I make myself entirely clear? It's the simplest view of your whole foul career. Put Maurice away and she'll be here in moments In a dreadful state She'll capitulate to me Hey! We'll apply your inclination to one old buffoon Then wave one bachelor Goodbye, she'll be my bride. She'd rather die than have her daddy ossified. your love. Voila. You look so, so... Stupid! Ah, not quite the word I was looking for. 
Perhaps a different style would be better. Oh, I'll try. My, aren't we fussy? Fussy, fussy, fussy! There, that's better. Master, your lady awaits. There is a way. This meal will show you anything. 
anything you wish to see. Really? I... I wish to see my father, please. Oh, Papa! Oh, no, he's... he's lost in the woods. What should I do? He could be sick and... and he's all alone. Oh, my poor father. He, he needs my help. Go to him. What did you say? I release you. You are no longer my prisoner. You mean... I'm free? You would do that for me? Yes. Oh, thank you. Now take it with you. And that way you always have a way to look back. And remember me. Thank you for understanding that my father needs me. Well, Master, I think that went well, don't you? I let her go. You what? I had to. But why? Because I love her.
easy now, Papa. Oh, I'm so glad to have found you. Let's get you into the house and have a nice cup of tea. Why, hello there, Belle. Gaston, what are you doing here? Belle, I've come to take your father to the asylum. Take my father? You can't take him away from me. You know, Belle, all you have to do is marry me, and your father may stay. Marry you? Why, you monster. Oh, come on, Belle. Just say that one little word. Why are, are you, you doing, doing this? Oh, Belle, it's obvious he needs some help. All he's been doing is going about some, some beast. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a laugh? Crazy old Maurice. <laughs> he's not crazy. I'll prove it. Show me the beast. That's him. That's him. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you had feelings for this monster. He's no monster, Gaston. You are. She's as crazy as the old man. She says this creature is her friend. Well, I've hunted wild animals. I've seen what they can do. The beast will make off with your children. He'll come after them in the night. He will never. Forget the old man. I say, we kill the beast. Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Drawbridge of a castle, and there's something truly terrible inside. It's a beast, he's got fangs, razor sharp ones, massive paws, killer claws for the feast. Hear him roar, see him fall, but we're not going home till he's dead. Go to dead! Kill the beast! No, I won't let you do this. Try and stop us! Oh, Papa, this is all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I'm coming with you. No! I lost you once. I won't lose you again. Then we'd better hurry. We'll rid the village of this beast. Who's with me? I am! I am! Torch, that's your horse. Screw your courage to the sticking place. We're counting on your star to lead the way. scares us and this monster is mysterious at least cut down a tree and make it a big one take whatever you can find but remember the beast is mine
encroachers warn the master if it's a fight they want, we'll be ready for them. Psst, Gaston, catch me.